We are with uh, Christophe Canguilhem, the CEO of uh, Survecopter, for a brief overview of uh, their product line, as well as the other uh, unmanned systems uh, on display here at Paris Air Show. Christophe, uh, great to see you again. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm great, thank you. So the reason I wanted to talk to you is uh, you are showcasing, well, for the first time, the new uh, Kappa X. This is the actual uh, prototype aircraft. You're also showcasing the VTOL Aliaka, so these are two uh, VTOL UAVs relevant to uh, the French navies, and uh, we'll find out uh, more uh, why. Uh, so first, the Kappa X. Uh, what is it exactly? It's a pretty large uh, VTOL UAV, but a fixed wing. Yeah, as you can see, it's much bigger than the, the light tactical systems that we were uh, producing before. Uh, we are here on a very modular system, uh, multi-mission, and the aim was really to design a vertical takeoff and landing uh, unmanned system, but that is capable of flying more than 10 hours uh, for more than 100 kilometers range, uh, carrying more than 10 kilogram payloads. Here, this one is, is also interesting the French Navy that is currently doing some trials with it in the south of France, testing also the, the mission chain and the capacity of several payloads to be integrated like uh, optical payload, classic one, but very performant, uh, including infrared, and also uh, SIGINT, so signal intelligence uh, systems, to be able to detect any kind of communication, VHF, uh, UHF, 3GPP, so mobile phone, satellite, etc. So Christophe, what are some of the mission sets for this, ISR and uh, anything else? Mainly ISR today, in the first step, of course, but uh, we, we could implement also a radar or uh, what we call a, a MAD, MAD, uh, magnetic anomaly detection system, and then in a second step probably also weaponize it. So on, on display you also have the new uh, version of the Aliaka currently in service with the French Navy, the legacy Aliaka. This is the VTOL version. Why did you design a VTOL version for this? Yeah, as you mentioned, Aliaka, so the first uh, fixed wing version, is already in service or has been in service since 2022 in the French Navy. And, uh, you know, this market is uh, evolving very quickly. It's a highly competitive environment and the customers are always more and more asking for VTOL capacities. Uh, the fixed wing version is very reliable and uh, has a quite low uh, logistic footprint with the catapult and the net. But even with this, even if it's easy to, to deploy, the customer was requesting something even simpler and that's why we are proposing today with the VTOL version. Uh, we we ha have already performed some trials with the French Navy uh, last winter. They were very successful on the ground and on, on the ships, moving ships, etc. So uh, we are currently in discussion to transform the last deliveries for the French Navy into the VTOL version. And the first one should be delivered by end of this year to the French. And we are also discussing with some foreign navies in Europe and the uh, Mediterranean area, I would say, uh, for either classic or VTOL version of Aliaka. Well, Christophe, uh, thank you very much for this uh, brief uh, overview and uh, I look forward to see all these two projects uh, progress. Thank you very much. Thank you, you're welcome. All right, we are now with uh, Fer Fernando Siria. Marketing Director at, uh, for Surveillance System at Airbus Defense. Fernando, good morning. Thank you for welcoming us. And uh, welcome, uh, welcome to our uh, static display in Le Bourget. Thank you very much. Uh, so after covering the small size uh, UAV with a survey copter, I wanted to speak with you to focus on the SIRTAP and the Euro drone. Okay. So the SIRTAP, uh, can you please uh, introduce this uh, system to us? And I believe quite recently this year there was an announcement that this will be relevant to naval applications for the Spanish Navy. This uh, SIRTAP is uh, a new development that is in the class of, uh, we say, high-end tactical UAS. And uh, the target of that aircraft is having especially just the surveillance capabilities that previously were in the male class. At this moment with a, a UAS in the tactical that is much lighter, we are using uh, 
mainly two elements, that is having a dual payload. This uh, We are using just uh, as a surveillance capability a multi-mission radar that is capable of uh, conducting missions over land in the traditional role of, uh, of a drone, but as well in the maritime environment. The multi-mission radar that is same we are using on manned solutions of Airbus Defense uh, is providing a good capability without changing the configuration, probably in, depending on the country. One day the mission is for doing just a, a support of the forces or control of borders and the other day is just to conduct an operation as a maritime surveillance role uh, for other application. This is the big capacity that we are having and on top of logically we are having a, 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 a euro-stabilized uh, turret with uh, cameras, electro-optical cameras, etc. for the classification and identification of the targets. And as well, when we have a configuration including weapons, the possibility of having just a, 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 a guiding of, uh, of uh, these weapons for reaching the, the targets. This is the big difference. Is, uh, we are in an intermediate class, bringing just the, the capabilities uh, of the hire with affordable uh, solutions. That is, at uh, uh, this moment, what is being required by the armies, air forces and navies, having volume, more units and with higher capability than the, the, in the previous uh, years. Can you tell us more about uh, the agreement with uh, Navantia for the yeah. aircraft there are, carrier? There are two topics. At this moment, one is the the capability for conducting operations in the maritime in the maritime environment, and the second is we have uh, signed an, an, uh, a memorandum of understanding with Navantia, that is the the shipbuilder of uh, in Spain of the Spanish carrier, for working together for analyzing the possibility of having an embark uh, solution of the SIRTAP. It's uh, the possibility of operating, of uh, taking off and, and, and landing from the from the from the carrier, and as well the compatibility with the rest of the elements. Yes, with not only just the uh, the operations, yes, uh, uh, having the, the operation just yes, with the elevator of the carrier, yes, the compatibility with electro electromagnetic uh, environments, with uh, plenty of communications, radar, etc., and the integration with the uh, command and control center and the combat center of the of the carrier. Then this is the, the, the scope of our memorandum for analyzing the feasibility of a potential use of this uh, of this air vehicle on the on the on this type on this size of carrier. Lastly uh, Fernando the Euro drone uh, it's a multi-European cooperation project. Yes, what is the current uh, status? The important thing with that is uh, initially has been uh, uh, the main mission analyzed for the Eurodrone was the traditional overland, but we are seeing that there is an, an important interest and very good capabilities of uh, that size of, uh, of drone for conducting not only maritime surveillance as well maritime patrol. Yes, as, as well, uh, Eurodrone with its, uh, with, uh, its size is uh, having multi-mission capabilities and then is provided with uh, uh, radars and electro optic devices for operate, for conducting maritime surveillance and we are working hard as was presented here for having capabilities as well for maritime patrol this is the capability for having just a uh, sonar boy processing on board the capability even to drop our sonar boys and the capability for carrying uh, weapons uh, like uh, the Marty yard that we have here just uh, the traditional uh, anti-vessel missile and as well other type of uh, anti-submarine warfare uh, weapons like uh, torpedo then uh, we are trying to find multiple roles for our platforms for extending just the use even beyond what was the initial expectations for the program. All right, Fernando, thank you very much. Thank you very much.